Recent study proven that taking 600 mg twice daily of this super antioxidant can lower creatinine levels faster than anything else in the world. Catherine from W Kini here. Welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health. Today, I want to talk about a molecule that has unmatched healing properties. Your body needs it to treat everything from high blood pressure to high cholesterol levels including cancer, diabetes, inflammatory conditions, and even aging. And according to research, eating foods and supplements rich in this molecule can also make all the difference in fighting kidney disease. I'm talking about antioxidants. What I want to show you today are some of the most powerful antioxidant remedies in the world. Guys, never underestimate the dangers linked to oxidative stress. Oxidative stress can damage cells, proteins, and DNA in all the organs in the body. And this can contribute to diseases and kidney damage. And unfortunately, Seniors or those with chronic illnesses do not have enough antioxidants to effectively fight all the free radicals. This is what actually causes aging in the human body. Guys, good news is that there are remedies that can help. Our number one in particular is the most powerful vitamin in the world when it comes to fighting oxidative stress in the body. And it can also protect your kidneys from high blood pressure and high uric acid levels. So don't miss our number one. And before that, despite being just number five in today's top five, this remedy is an antioxidant so powerful, it is routinely used to prevent IV contrast in CD scans from doing oxidative damage to the kidneys. Number five is and acetylcysteine or NUC in short. This is one of the most powerful antioxidants on earth with incredible kidney protecting benefits. NUC has many uses and is an FDA approved drug. It is known to be a potent antioxidant that scavenges oxygen free radicals in the body. It also has vasodilatory properties. NAC is also interesting for us because it can lower creatinine levels fast and effectively. In a study on CKD patients, those who received NAC 600 mg twice a day had a drop in creatinine levels measurable just days after they were given the remedy. Amazing! And while researchers are still studying this molecule to confirm its skinny repairing properties, NAC is already being prescribed to CKD patients in some cases. NAC is actually so powerful at protecting the kidneys from oxidative stress, it is used in x-rays exams done with contrast to protect the kidneys. There are also studies showing that NAC may be effective in reducing homocysteine levels, a risk factor for heart and kidney disease, and to lower cholesterol levels. I mean, these are a lot of benefits for a supplement that comes with no side effects and that can lower your creatinine levels. But why is NAC only number 5 if it's so powerful? Well, the reason is the FDA ban on this supplement. Yes, today you cannot purchase this remedy anymore if you are in the US. Now, the FDA does not actually believe this supplement is dangerous. They are only banning it because a big pharmaceutical company patented it. So the FDA is doing everything in its power to protect the huge margins this company has on this remedy. Seems fair, right? And yes, this is unfortunate because people in Europe and in other parts of the world can still purchase NAC as they used to. Now, there is a perfectly legal and 100% safe way of getting the benefits of NAC without actually buying it. NAC is used to create more glutathione in the body. While you could, in theory, supplement glutathione, this molecule is not well absorbed. 
Enter liposomal glutathione. Liposomal means the active ingredient is actually contained inside a very tiny fat-like particle that won't be destroyed by the acid in your stomach, like glutathione would. This can dramatically increase absorption and potency of the molecule. And this form of glutathione is actually supposed to have many of the benefits of supplementing NAC, such as improved kidney function and protection against oxidative stress. I've talked more about glutathione in my video up here if you want to know more. Guys, time now to see an even better way to protect the kidneys because while researchers are still debating the usefulness of on the long term of NAC for kidney health, there is no denying that the diet we follow is crucial if we want to protect our kidneys. And there are some incredibly healthy antioxidant powerhouse foods, low in potassium and sodium, that are perfect for a renal diet. Let's see what they are. Antioxidant superfoods! Always include in your diet kale. This is one of the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet. Very rich in vitamins, especially vitamin C and vitamin A. K is also loaded with powerful antioxidants like lutein and zeaxanthin that are well known for their kidney protecting properties. This wonder vegetable has many incredible health benefits and only one problem. It's richer in potassium than some other vegetables. So should you avoid kale? Maybe not. Doctors are changing their view on potassium and kidney health. More info about this in my video up here. And also consider red grapes. Red grapes are not only delicious and low in potassium, they also deliver a ton of nutrition in a small package. They're rich in vitamin C and contain antioxidants called flavonoids, which have been shown to protect the kidneys. Additionally, red grapes are high in resveratrol, a type of flavonoid that has been shown to benefit heart health and protect against diabetes and kidney problems. Another food incredibly rich in antioxidant, cranberries. Cranberries benefit both the urinary tract and kidneys. Besides the powerful antioxidants these tiny fruits pack, cranberries also contain phytonutrients which prevent bacteria from sticking to the lining of the urinary tract and bladder, preventing infection. Cranberries can be eaten dried, cooked, or fresh. Time for a healthy snack now! Dark chocolate! Dark chocolate is full of antioxidants and, if you eat it in moderate amounts, it's also very healthy. It contains antioxidants so powerful, it may even reduce the risk for chronic diseases. It's also great for people with diabetes, but stay away from milk chocolate and other sugary junk foods. Always choose dark chocolate with 70% or even better, 80% cocoa to get the antioxidant benefits without adding too much sugar. Time to talk about red wine now. Mm, yes, you really can't make a video about antioxidants without mentioning red wine because antioxidants are crucial for kidney health as we have seen. There are solid science linking increased levels of antioxidants in the blood to less chances of disease, including kidney disease. And red wine is so rich in antioxidants, some researchers are recommending to drink it despite the huge risks linked to alcohol consumption. Yet, every time some new research or article show up telling us how healthy it is to drink red wine, they are never really talking about the wine itself. What they are really talking about is our number three for today. This is what makes red wine healthy. Number three, resveratrol. Yes, you can have the heart healthy and kidney restoring benefits of red wine without the risks connected to alcohol consumption. You just need to supplement resveratrol. This is a polyphenol with powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties with benefits for kidney health that go way beyond those of red wine. Resveratrol may actually be used to lower your creatinine levels. In a study, CKD patients were administered between 150mg and 450mg of resveratrol over a 12-week period. Their creatinine levels decreased significantly. 
and researchers believe that resveratrol is especially effective in people with kidney disease in the advanced stages caused by diabetes or hypertension. And while just adding around 10 mg of resveratrol per day can be already effective, that's what you will get from food sources. Most supplements you can find contain around 500 mg of resveratrol and that's the dosage I would personally choose for an antioxidant therapy. And yes, improving our serum antioxidant status through supplementation may actually save our kidneys. And there are also ways to add significant amounts of antioxidants without resorting to supplements. How? Follow these easy tips. Eat the peels. Whenever possible, leave the skins on fruit and vegetables. They often contain higher levels of nutrients than the pulp. And also, go CD. Seeds offer great flavor and crunch, and they provide healthy fats as well as beneficial antioxidants. And don't forget to take time for a spot of tea. Both coffee and tea have high levels of disease-busting antioxidants, so don't skip your next tea time. And also, eat more legumes. Many kidney patients are told to avoid legumes altogether for their phosphorus and potassium content. But legumes are very rich in antioxidants. Some are also low enough in phosphorus and potassium, especially green beans, green peas, and chickpeas. Another great strategy is to add colors to your plate. Not many people know this, but many of the foods richest in antioxidants are blue, red, orange, or black. And there are tons of different antioxidants that can help you. So the best way to get more of them is to add in many colorful fruit and veggies to your diet. Yes, variety in your diet may be key to a better kidney health. Time now for the vitamin with the most powerful antioxidant effect on the kidneys. Our number one is vitamin C. Vitamin C really is the best friend of your kidneys. It's an incredibly powerful natural antioxidant. Studies show that consuming more vitamin C can increase your blood antioxidant levels by up to 30%, which is a very fast way of improving kidney function as we have seen. Vitamin C is also crucial for iron absorption and to fight anemia, and it also plays a crucial role in wound healing, bone and tooth formation, and heart health. And while vitamin C supplements are usually considered safe, there's one hidden danger not many people know about. There are also studies linking vitamin C to lowered blood pressure, but vitamin C comes mainly in two forms. While one of these forms is completely safe and effective, the other one may raise your blood pressure. What to do if you're taking the wrong form of vitamin C? I've explained exactly how to solve this problem in my recent video up here. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.